Cookie Family, my name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Okay, stop right now. If you've missed this week's episodes where we have been working on our small entryway into the hallway, you need to make sure that you haven't missed any of the episodes. We have been upcycling all of the parts of these renovations we've been doing over the past seven days and it is looking incredible. As we come in the entryway now, it's so much more welcoming and functional. We even have our coats and all of our things put away now in this cabinet that we built from an Ikea headboard and scrap wood. Every time we come in now, we're like, wow, this is what the entryway is supposed to feel like in this home. And if you remember what it looked like when we first walked in buying this abandoned home, it's quite a difference now after just a one week of working on this space. But we're not done yet. We still have some aspects that we want to do. But before we do more in the entryway and in the hallway here, I'm dying to show you something that I finally decided I was going to purchase, which is going to tie in the blue that we're doing in the hallway here. You know, I was determined in some way or another to have blue in this hallway, but the walls just weren't it. And so thank you for voting and having this cabinet be blue because it is dreamy. But I needed something to help tie in the colors we were using now that we finally decided on the style we want to do through the house. Okay, come see what I got. When we were first getting to the house, one of the first spaces that we wanted to work on was the living room so that we would have a one finished area that we can enjoy while we ransacked and renovated the rest of the house. And so you saw us on the channel undergo a couple different transformations in this living room while we went from restoring the fireplace and making this room livable to then realizing that we couldn't get a furnace in in time for winter and switching completely to wood stove and transitioning everything out for that. One of the dream items that we wanted to buy for the house, and you know we like to buy all secondhand items if we can, was we wanted to buy a brand new sofa. We had always had secondhand sofas over the years and so it was so nice to be able to go and purchase our dream sofa. And we wanted something that was this orangey kind of brown leather color and we wanted a sectional for this room that we could all stretch out on and enjoy as like a recreational sofa, nothing in a fancy sitting room. But this sofa has not been right since the first day we got it and that is because the realtor that we actually got the house through gave us the wrong dimensions for this room which meant that the couch that we ordered our sectional actually was shaped in the wrong direction meaning this was the short side and this was the long side so once we switched to the wood stove it was very close to the stove and it just didn't make sense the orientation was all wrong so for two years, we have made the mistake of not knowing that our IKEA couch is modular. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so we have stood so many times at the doorway looking in thinking, gosh, this room could be right if we could just get the couch right, but not wanting to replace it. Then one night about two weeks ago, I was deciding that I was going to try that blue gray color on the bottom of the cabinets in this room. Ultimately, it was a bad decision and they were getting back to white. But while we were doing that, we had that aha moment that I had seen a clip of someone reconfiguring their Ikea couch online. And I thought, maybe our couch is modular. Well, it turns out that two years ago, we could have reconfigured the couch and had it in the right orientation for the room. So Philip and I have now created the short side over here and the long side here, which now makes perfect sense for this room. It took us long enough. Like we were dying laughing when we realized that this couch could have been changed the whole time. But now that we have it situated right, we wanted to decide finally on a rug that we wanted for the space, which I'm very excited to show you. I have finally decided after about a year and a half of seeing this rug online, which rug would be perfect for us in this space that will go along with our ranch vibe and some of our sheepskin and cow rugs, different things we like to add for elements into the house. So we've decided on this beautiful rug. Part of my hesitation for ordering it was that it is listed as a pinkish red color in the rug. And now that we have it here into our space, I think it is so beautiful with our couch. And now that our couch is configured the right way, we are definitely far enough away from the wood stove and everything is starting to make sense. So while we're working on the front entryway and hallway, we want to do a little re living room refresh here. You can see we have no curtains up right now because we have decided to do a deep clean a declutter, a kind of revamp in some of the spaces that we finished so that everything can now be in the right streamline of like where we want to go with the direction of the house. Sometimes you just have to live in a space for a little while to figure out exactly what you want. And that's kind of what we've done. So I think we are definitely on the right track now because we're loving everything that we're adding in. So let me know what you think of the rug. So this week I'm going to put up new curtains, do new throws, we're going to deep clean this space, get our wood stove ready for the colder season ahead, 
you know, restyle my shelves and do things like that in here. But I think you can see that that blue gray color that we added to the hall cabinet is also throughout this rug. And so it really ties the colors in so beautifully. You leash, hun. Stop, stop yourself. What are you doing? don't like this light. We're working on the entryway, love. This is part of the entryway. <laughs> it's connected to the entryway. Do I get that? Like it's, I can see the entryway from where I'm standing. This part of the entryway, when you walk in, you enter to the light. See what I to mean? To the light. To the light. Don't go to the light. When we got this light, we had newly moved in here and there was no fixture there. What was there? Nothing? Yeah. There was no fixture at there all. There was nothing. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. And we went to three different hardware stores and you know, we mention often that we're really far from anywhere to basically shop and shopping. The closest things would be literally a hardware store, not a decor store where you can buy like light fixtures and stuff. And we needed to see, because this is such a grand entry. There's no light fixture in the entry there. And then there's nothing in this whole hallway. And the electrical was not right when we first moved in. So everything was all like dark. So we needed to have something. So we found this chevron herringbone. I don't even know exactly what the term. I'm going to say chevron light fixture. And I was like, it's gold, at least for now. I think we got it on clearance for like $50. And it was regular like $350 or something, if I remember correctly. And we brought it home. And I think I thought at the time that I actually kind of liked it because I was just happy that there was a light fixture there. But it's awful. Awful. I really don't like it. It, com it really competes like pattern on the wall. So not the vibe that we're going for. I think I tried to make it make sense because we have like the herringbone island. But it's just not making any sense. But we're using what we have. So when we first got here, remember the original kitchen that never showed up? Well, there was supposed to be one light fixture in the middle of the ceiling in where is now our laundry pantry room. This is the top part of a glass, I'm gonna say nautical-ish style light fixture. Because we got this lamp on a discount, it didn't come with all the parts that we need. So we're gonna fabricate an old light that we found that we know the part's gonna work for, but it was a hanging light. And this one doesn't hang by chain, it hangs a different way. So we're gonna fabricate this. <laughs> so this is what we have. So we have this piece here. It's and dirty now, sorry. That's okay. Our inside piece there needs to be able to thread in, but this big hook part where the other light hung is in the way of us being able to thread the piece that we need to into there. So Phil's going to sawzall with a metal blade and then I'm gonna spray that piece gold since we're gonna wreck the gold on the bottom tip parts and then it'll match the light and it will be able to allow us to thread into that spot with the post of the light so it can hang from the ceiling. The rain slowed down for like just enough time to do this. You think you're gonna nick our table? You know what? I feel like this table has been shown that we love it so much that it wouldn't be angry with us. You impressed me with your ingenuity. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the fact that you still have all of your phalanges. <laughs> you haven't counted my toes. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> if you drop that, this was all for nothing. <laughs> the whole thing comes down. <laughs> oh, nothing like working with a glass dome for a light fixture. Always makes me so nervous. Every time I cleaned the light fixtures in the upstairs hallway at our old house, you had to do that where you twisted the three sides off and pulled it down to, you know, Windex it or whatever. And I oh my it goodness. Okay. It is it straight? I can't tell from where I am. I got to go to the other side. That 
is so much prettier and it reflects really pretty on the ceiling. We decided to put a vintage bulb in it so it's the same lighting that happens in the living room on that light fixture. But I think that looks so much better. I wanna show you the sight line of the large cabinet. We have been having quite a few comments saying like, what does it look like from the end of the hallway into the space? Like, does it seem big and bulky? None of us have even noticed that it was there other than that we keep staring at it. It has not taken up any space at all because the depth from the wall here was just a whole bunch of unused space. Yeah. And now we have everything put together and you can see that if we walk past it and we go into that small entryway, we have our bench and our shelving and the view of the front windows, which we're still finishing doing the framing of and painting the front door. So I don't do a ton of sewing projects, but what I wanna do is make some cafe style curtains that are going to go at the front entryway. I have this tablecloth that has a beautiful ribbing along the bottom which just so happens to be almost the exact same blue color as the cabinet that we just put in the hallway where is the line between dreaming and feeling it's four o'clock in the evening i haven't left my room but the truth is if i'm So I picked up some retractable rods and the reason I chose to do these is so that it wouldn't stick out using any curtain rod holders because the windows are on that weird diagonal shape as a bay window. These are really my only option to be able to have nothing sticking out into the hallway or obstructing the doors or opening and shutting the windows. And then I couldn't find any gold rings, but I did find the rings and clips at Ikea. And so I'm going to turn them gold by using my Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint. This metallic gold is my favorite one. So because the rain has stopped for a couple minutes, I'm going to spray probably about 24 of the rings and my three rods. So my first coat, I'm gonna let this dry for about a half an hour and then flip everything over and rotate it so I can do another coat. But I think they're gonna look really nice gold. And hopefully, this rain holds up for a little bit longer so I can get this finished. So much progress has been made and the space is looking exactly how we hoped that it would and even some of our DIYs we've been working on have not only added like customization to the home but really added some of that dopamine decor that we're going for things that really just vibe with our own family so I encourage you if you're doing your own DIY projects or decorating your own house to really don't think necessarily about what the trends are and just think about what your family really likes and enjoys think of your color palette that really makes you guys feel at home and that it's just a space that's all about your own family and really represents you guys. And I think that now that we're on the right track with that in our own house, we're loving it more and more every single day. And being able to use upcycled, thrifted, or like scrap materials just ultimately brings the space together that much more. It makes it custom automatically because you can't necessarily just reproduce the materials. And so I think that just adds character and charm to our house along the way. My curtains are from the tablecloth that turned out so good. And since it never really lived on our table because it would have just got stained anyways, the fabric was in perfect condition. I love the blue trim, how it's exactly a match to the cabinet in the hallway. 
Being able to make the rods and the hooks from Ikea gold just ties in with a few other little hardware elements that we have throughout the main floor. We do still need to do a coat of paint. This entryway is just primed. So you notice we still have some trim work of DAP and things to do along the windows and stuff, but that's all we have left to do in this room. And one more coat of paint on the back of the door and our entryway is welcoming and an actual functioning and storage holding all the things working entryway, which is we've been waiting two years to do. So we are now on to finishing the large hallway space. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join our journey while we renovate this abandoned property. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so before you click off to watch the next video, hopefully from the Alicia English channel, I want you to check out in one of the clips during this video, you can see where I left a hint sitting in one of the rooms on what our next big makeover is. Can you find it?